So take a good look at your screens. This is incredible video. The video surveillance shows um, masked men breaking into a jewelry store. They're breaking glass cases. They're filling up a plastic bin with all this stolen loot. Yeah, these guys were in and out in less than two minutes. Now the owner and police are trying to figure out who did it. Our Logan Gay got a good look at the damage and the cost of this crime. Customers walking up to the Mason Jewelry Store in Plainfield are greeted by this sign telling them it's closed due to a robbery. Walk inside, you can see what kind of robbery, a smash and grab. When you turn around and look at what they've done to these cases, it's just like terrible. I can't believe someone would do this. The robbers used hammers to shatter most of the cases. They were in and out in less than two minutes. Store owner Scott Mason added up the damage to about $130,000. I've never had anything like this happen. This is, this is nuts. Customer Kelly Joseph stopped by to pick up her ring. She's stunned by what she saw. It's devastating. It really is. I mean, it's just not safe anywhere. Even though these cases are smashed and the merchandise is essentially cleaned out, owner Scott Mason says it could have been so much worse. Hopefully they'll get caught, but the biggest thing is nobody was hurt. No customer jewelry was stolen, so that's very important to me. Mason Jewelers has been a family-owned business for over 60 years. Mason says the support he's receiving from the community has made all the difference. When I look on Facebook, it's really cool because I see the whole community like really standing behind us, and I love seeing all those nice messages. Mason will spend the upcoming days replacing the glass and preparing to reopen next week. We're going to be here for a long time. This is just a little setback. We're going to be fine. We're all going to be fine. If you know anything about this crime or recognize anyone in the video, please contact Plainfield Police and ask for the deputy chief.